The Racer basketball team is wrapping up another exciting and successful regular season. The CFSB Center is packed at every home game with thousands of pumped up fans, but Roundabout U takes a closer look at the rowdy fans that not only fill the bank with cheers, but also great music, the pep band. Murray State has a great number of music ensembles, and the pep band is just one. It takes more than just a love of music to join, though, also a love of Murray State basketball. You know, each year at the end of Racer, toward the end of Racer Band, I uh, talk to the Racer Band members and I say, if you'd like to be part of the Racer, ba uh, Racer Pep Band, here are some of the requirements. Number one, you love basketball. Number two, you want to come to most of the games. And we really almost discourage people to coming who want to be just recreationalists. We want the hardcore people. I mean, I feel like if you're not a sports fan, you'll be at the first couple. You'll be like some of the fans that show up later if we have like an undefeated streak going on. But, you know, you really got to love being part of a Murray State tradition like the pep band. Racer basketball fans yell and cheer, but the pep band can take it to another level. They do all they can to root for their team and maybe get into the head of the opposing team as well. The pep band really is like the sixth man of the team, if you ask me. We have to heckle the other team. We got to get in their head. We got to like help out our team whatever way we can. And that's cheering. That's getting nuts. That's making sure they're doing the best they can, hyping them up. And if we bring down the other team, then we're doing our job. Um, but really, like, we try to be classy about it. But at the same time, we want to have a good time. And uh, so when they're shooting free throws, you know, we'll scream and yell at them and stuff like that. And uh, just anything to help us stay involved in the game. Yeah, if, if a coach does something stupid or starts doing something weird, or we're always hackling them, giving them a hard time, or even the players at the end of the bench. And uh, every once in a while, we'll get a little reaction out of them, which makes it worth it. And it's just fun to kind of get in their head. It's part of like, we want them when they come in here to Murray State, we want them to be like, not again, not, a, not that's not this year. And every year we bring it. Dr. Fannin, though, is always there to ensure the heckling stays appropriate and continues to represent Murray State in a positive manner. You know, it's, it's a fine line. You see a lot of college atmospheres where the students heckle and they go too far. Occasionally, I have to get on my guys about that. But that's part of it. When a coach makes a fool of himself, I, the fans, and my students will get after them. Just like when a ref makes a bad call. If you, you, if you watch me during a game, I'll, I'll say something. But it's a fine line where it's fun and then inappropriate. And so it's something we actually talk about quite a bit and police quite a bit. The pep band also enjoys controlling the mood and the atmosphere of the entire arena with just their music. Um, you know, I, I think it really, the pep band creates an important part of the atmosphere of college game day, whether it be playing the fight song or my favorite moments is you watch in a critical part of the game, I watch the opposing coach and whenever our team gets on a run and the momentum is swinging our way and the crowd gets behind it and you can feel that upswell. I have a direct button that I can push with the audience with the fight song and get them to cheer and applaud. That's one of my favorite moments and we, we, we're really part of that excitement and uh, no matter what's on the script for the, the arena, we always like to get the crowd involved. So that's probably some of my favorite parts of it. And with the regular season coming to an end, fans and the pep band are hoping for another trip to the NCAA tournament. Looking forward to the NCAA tournament. Hopefully we make a run and have a good time.